Hey guys, it's Allegra with Moonwater and Lightning Studios, and today we're going to do an experiment. I want to find out what else you can dilute alcohol ink with. So stay tuned. <laughs> So I do a lot of work with alcohol ink and I dilute it with 91% isopropyl alcohol. This is what I've always used. Since COVID-19 hit, alcohol has disappeared. I can't find it. Well, it got me to thinking, what else can I use to dilute my alcohol ink? Alcohol blending solution is on the market. It's not the most economical option, but it should do the exact same thing. But then I started thinking, witch hazel, maybe it's in the similar area of the drugstore. It's clear. I know that it has a little alcohol in it. We'll have to see. Then I was able to find a bottle of 70% isopropyl alcohol, like the rubbing alcohol. I have no idea what this is going to do, but I can actually find this in a store. So I wanted to give it a try. And then I was lucky enough to find 99% isopropyl alcohol. My guess is it needs to be slightly diluted because it'll evaporate pretty quickly but we're gonna give it a try anyway. So, I went ahead and got Durlar, and we're just going to start with this. I'm going to do the exact same thing on these as I've done in previous videos where I'm using my heat gun to push around the alcohol. Four drops. Because my purpose here is to see the difference. This solvent-based solution is designed to remove alcohol inks from slit. So this basically should act just like the 91% isopropyl. Gloves are not required, but as you can see, your hands will get stained if you don't wear them. My hands are always stained with something. So, okay, so just on the surface, I would say this is much richer than when I use alcohol ink. These, I'm also able to find. These little alcohol pads, they're good for quick cleanup, but that's about it. And let's use the Witch Hazel. So I know that this is used for like a toner for your face. I am totally skeptical of this one, but I wanted to give it a try. Ooh, that's interesting. It's moving around in there. Hmm. We'll see. So I would say that's a no. I mean, it's kind of interesting, but it's definitely not going to work. I'm gonna stick that right there. I don't wanna forget which one's which. Okay, so let's go with a new cup. And now I'm going to use the 70% rubbing alcohol. Okay, 
so this is interesting. Still not great. But it might work in a pinch. And then this, we'll go ahead and do our 91. This is the stuff I like to use. And this is the sweet spot. As I suspected. And last is the new stuff. I haven't used this before. I don't know what it'll do. Hopefully, it'll be closer to this guy. Is our 99 okay so this is the blending solution I think this is a good option for a substitution for the 91% isopropyl alcohol I think that the color is much richer with the blending solution as well as the availability because you can get this at any craft store the witch hazel, I don't know what to say about that. It's not a no, but it's definitely not what I want to use as a substitution. It almost separated the pigment from the alcohol ink. It was very strange. As soon as I started pouring it into the cup, there was a reaction that started happening and it was swirling around. The 70% alcohol, I'm a little surprised at. It, you have these neat little squiggles, but this is not an option for a substitution in my book. This is what I'm used to getting. I love this. But the 91% alcohol is basically nowhere to be found. So if this isn't an option... This is nice. I really enjoy the 99% alcohol as a substitution. I may prefer to use it over the 91. But these are your results. I hope you found that helpful. If you are looking for a substitution, go with the 99% alcohol. Go with the blending solution. Stay away from witch hazel because you are not going to get the same effects with witch hazel or even the 70% alcohol. Okay guys, so that's it. I uh, hope you found this helpful. I did. Now I know what is and isn't an option for alcohol substitution when it comes to diluting my alcohol ink. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please let me know. You can comment down below. Uh, give this video a like. Uh, please subscribe to my channel if you are enjoying the videos that I'm making. And thank you.